Hello and welcome to my workshop and this is my hardwood and as you can see <laughs> it's sizable. Uh, these are pieces of maple and I'm going to use that in a completely different project so we don't have to worry about it. Uh, what I'm going to be talking about is everything else and everything else is North American birch. I'm going to use that in my upcoming 15 day build challenge where I build my two display cases from start to finish within 15 calendar days. Um, why so much wood? Well, um, I estimate about 70 to 75% of it to be used in the making of the legs. The legs will be about my height and they're going to have a taper to them and this is the example taper. So this is what's going to be the top and this is what would be the bottom of the leg. Uh, the display cases, as you can see in the image or the drawing, are going to have shelves at the top and the middle and nothing at the bottom because nobody should be squatting or bending down to look at the things that I have. So the shelves would be only the top and the middle. So if I have that single width leg, then that's going to look like a bodybuilder who has skipped leg day for way too many times. So the taper not only provides the balance of the, uh, the whole display case, but it also provides the uh, extra stability and weight at the bottom of the unit. With having the taper, I had some challenges in sourcing wood. Obviously, I wasn't uh, able to find uh, wood that is thick enough to cover the taper. As you can see, the widest part of the taper is still above the width of this wood. So I was left with two options. Number one is stacking wood together like this. And as we can see, we have plenty for the taper or create what I call the hollow leg by using my little router bit to get uh, four pieces of wood and join them uh, together to form the leg. Uh, I decided to go for option number one uh, and that means stacking of the wood and I also opted for the thicker wood because of economics. In uh, lumber stores, at least here in North America, wood is sold by the so-called board foot measure, which is a board foot is 144 cubic inches. So when you buy wood, you measure the volume of the wood and then you divide that by the 144 to get at your board feet. And for each leg, I need roughly six board feet, regardless of whether I buy them in a thick piece of wood or the thinner pieces of wood. The thick piece of wood or the two inch piece of wood uh, gets me least amount of work because with two pieces I can get enough to cover the taper and that means I have to machine two pieces and glue them once versus the one inch uh, pieces of wood. I need four of those to come up to the same height and I need to machine four of those and have three glue joints. Similarly, in creating the hollow leg, I need to machine four of those, machine the more for the uh, lock miter, and then have four glue joints to worry about. So the thick piece of wood offered a lot more uh, versatility and least amount of work. Now that I source the wood, I'm facing another issue, which I'm going to show on the computer. This is the improvised version of my selling location. So this is the back wall. The empty space represents the windows, continuation of the back wall. And this is where I plan to put the uh, display cases. Uh, obviously, I don't care about the height of the uh, shelves right now because this is just for demonstration purposes. Uh, but the black line here represents a array of light. So when we turn on the light, or in my case, in real life, it's going to be the sun, I, I can see that there's still going to be light going inside the, the display cases. And I wanted to prevent light from coming in to avoid the damaging UV rays. Obviously, I cannot do that. And depending on the time of day, the time of year as well, uh, that amount of light will vary. So I have three options. Number one, block it permanently with solid sides. It's an option, but I don't like to think about that option because it limits the field of view for the customer. They're only going to have the front to look at to see what I have and get excited about it. 
Uh, option number two is creating some sort of screens with or without the wood print pattern that I can put in and remove at will. Uh, that way this will create some sort of a diffusion of the light and prevent the actual light from coming in. So that's an option that I'm looking at. And the third option is uh, UV filtering glass, plexiglass or acrylic. Uh, I don't like to work with glass because I cannot make fine adjustments to it and over here uh, everything is done using the Imperial versus I work in metric so I cannot really make fine adjustments to glass to make it fit acrylic uh, I can I can run it on the table saw or the jointer and I can get to that fine uh, uh, dimension that I need uh, but not so much with glass so I found uh, a type of acrylic, so I'm going to have to send an email to my supplier to see if they carry it or they can order it and see if I can get the uh, dimensions that I need. Uh, so that is going to be my hopefully last dilemma to solve. Uh, but you can let me know in the comments uh, which option you prefer. And also if you have a supplier that uh, you know that carries uh, UV filtering products, uh, let me know. I mean, I'm open to suggestions and options. Uh, so I plan to start the build probably the two weeks prior to the Canadian Thanksgiving, which is October 11th. So September 27th, I believe, up, up until October 11th. That's where I'm planning to do that, uh, the whole build. So that's 15 days uninterrupted work. Uh, the format of the videos will be me talking in the morning what I'm planning to do then the sped up version of me working in the workshop and then maybe or maybe not uh, a final words of you know what was challenging what did I accomplish so I'm thinking about those details a little bit right now but uh, within the next two to four weeks I have to uh, figure those out uh, I plan to post the videos either later in the evening or the morning after <laughs> and that's my little update on my build challenge if you like this video make sure to like share and subscribe and also hit the notification bell so that you get notified of my future video releases also follow me on all social media channels all the links are in the description